Kelly's court is back in session on the docket today. A multi-million dollar lawsuit after a deadly police chase in New York. Well, police situation anyway. Watch this. The officers in this cruiser were going after a guy last summer when the cruiser slams into the guy on the street corner. All right, watch this. Now the guy's okay. Watch what he does next. It's a guy, he's wearing a white shirt. Look, see, there he's run. He runs and he pulls, he jumps onto the back of his friend's dirt bike. It's a motorcycle. And you can see the guy weaving. Look, this is the second hit by the police cruiser that rams into these guys now. And in this hit, the driver was killed. The guy who was wearing the white shirt broke his leg. And that guy in the white shirt was eventually arrest, arrested and is now filing suit against the police department saying they were the ones who were in the wrong here. The cops say it was an accident. Joining me now, John Spilbor, former prosecutor, now defense attorney, and Julia Morrow, also former prosecutor, now defense attorney. Wow. So yeah. let me just start with you on this, John. Mm -hmm. I, I could understand accident if he hadn't just hit the guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you how do you hit him one second yeah. and then hit him again? moments later and say, oh, so, so I, had, didn't, I didn't know, I didn't see him. Yeah, this is as much of an accident as if he took out his baton and started, you know, flailing about the guy's head. He didn't even bother to slow down, Megan. You're talking about two people, no helmets, on a dirt bike. That police activity was completely unnecessary. You know, they could have done something else to try to stop them. And let's be real, these guys weren't running over a pack of puppies or nuns. They're being a nuisance. They're violating mm -hmm. the vehicle and traffic code. Nobody deserved to die or get seriously injured here. The mm -hmm. police are in the wrong. Look at this, Julia. I mean, look at this. The, the, these guys say, uh, you know, look, Megan, they did. were ran down, that they were rammed mm -hmm. down by this police cruiser in the middle of the street for doing, basically, they got the death penalty for being punks. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, first of all, I totally disagree with that assessment of that video, okay? We don't have audio. Where's the screeching tires? That motorcycle slowed down when that other, the second idiot jumped on the back of it, and the cop was already in mid-motion. For all we know, he was screeching on the brakes trying to stop. We don't have that from that video. We don't know why he was chasing them. And furthermore, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. These two guys were acting like lunatics. They were bobbing and no. weaving through traffic, driving the no, opposite you can't way. Say driving that. up on the sidewalk. Yes, and Megan, the law says it. Live by in the New sword, York. die by the if, sword. If we don't, yes, we, we don't put driving. pedophiles to the death penalty. We, it's okay now to just kill people who are no, riding dirt bikes in the streets they, in the Bronx? Yeah, but he didn't mean to hit them, Megan. When you're driving like that, when you're playing a dangerous game like that, where you have no helmet on, you're bobbing and weaving through traffic, driving the wrong way down lanes, you know a cop's in pursuit of you, what do you think's going to happen to you? Why didn't they pull over? They bear responsibility here. There's not going to be a million-dollar payday but, for those guys. But just there isn't. is a police policy in New York not to ram vehicles when you are in the middle of a police chase. That, our policy here is you don't do that, Jonna. And that's a pretty good policy. And why do we have it? Because people shouldn't die when they're committing petty offenses, which this was. I mean, I don't, it, it, for the life of me, I can't understand why the police officers aren't going to be charged for this, Megan, because we might not be able to hear the screeching of brakes, but just looking at the video, I don't see smoke coming from the back end of that car like they were trying to well, stop. Well, and some they are saying that he accelerated. Some are saying if you study the video, <laughs> it say. looks like the police cruiser accelerated into them. Mm -hmm. And even if you could allow a... Uh, uh, you know, the stop, the, the, the hit technique that sometimes they use. Could you do it on a, on a motorcycle? I mean, you, certain yeah. death is likely to result. I want to show you that video. We'll decide whether the cops sped up right after the break, and we'll talk about whether they should face charges themselves. All right, so let's look at it again. We were looking at, here, at it here during the break to see whether this cop car speeds up or slows down or makes an attempt to stop. He's, it's right after the kid's running away. He just got hit. He's running away from the cop. The cop's following. Oh, God. Julia? God. I, I see it slowing down, Meg. I see that cop. This is what I see. I see the cop not realizing as he's flying that the motorcycle's going to slow down to pick up this idiot who's jumping on the back. And by the time the cop realizes that the motorcycle de decreased in speed, he's moving too fast. He tries to stop, and boom, he hit them. I mean, it wasn't, I don't think it was an intentional Why did he hit him down. the first time? Because, yeah, Megan, do we even know why these people were running from the police? Do we know that? No, but you're not allowed to be on a dirt bike. I mean, that, that in yeah, and of itself is an offense.
I mean, literally, yeah, but it's they not allowed. Have, well, it's a traffic offense. But the, from, Megan, for all we know, and of course, this will all come out in court, they could be fleeing violent felons. We don't know that. And if a cop is allowed to use deadly force, which they are under certain circumstances, trying to run down a man on foot or a man on a motorcycle, obviously, would constitute the use of deadly force. So it's all going to come down to... What was the reason for the pursuit in the first but place? But all they charged him with, they charged the survivor mm -hmm. with resisting arrest and reckless right. endangerment. They didn't charge him with any other felony or anything else, John. And, this, and yeah. there's been a problem with guys on dirt bikes in the Bronx. They don't like it. It's not good for traffic. It's not safe. There's yep. no question. These guys shouldn't have been doing that. But mm -hmm. the question is whether uh, uh, that police officer was administering the death penalty without a judge or a jury or whether mm -hmm. he genuinely was mistaken and had an accident and whether he himself should be facing charges. As he should. These guys weren't committing any felonies. They were committing traffic offenses. Otherwise, as you said, he would have been charged with it. This is what happened. These guys are nuisances, and they were a nuisance to the cop. And this is a cop who got aggravated and didn't step on the brake, Megan. And that's what bothers me the most. The cop did this on purpose, and that's not how you mete out justice. That's not what a good cop does. Is there any chance these cops are going to face any disciplinary action? They ought to, but already the decision has been made that they're not. Somebody should make a public outcry because they should. Wow. There's well, a dead guy, a dead guy and a seriously injured guy riding dirt bikes on the street in we'll the Bronx. We'll see what happens in the civil suit. The civil suit, you know.